Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So I kind of haven't done like this vlog in, in quite a while. Uh, so I want to keep you guys updated with, you know, a little bit of what I'm doing in life. Um, but uh, before I get that started, I want to kind of introduce and bring up a topic to you guys and keep you guys updated for those of you who haven't been keeping too up to date on the YouTube videos. So for those of you guys who don't know, I've been playing Skyforge. You know, I'm on my break from PoE. I don't know when I'm going to return. Maybe the next league. Hopefully the next league. You know, I'll definitely try it out. But as of right now, I've been playing a kind of like action-based sci-fi fantasy MMORPG that's instance-based called Skyforge. Um, I plan on playing this up until Tree of Savior slash Blade and Soul come out. Those are the two big MMOs that I'm looking forward to. As for all the other side games that are coming out, like Black Desert and whatnot, you know, I'd love to check them out. But the two main games right now I'm really interested in are Blade and Soul and Tree of Savior. Blade and Soul is a uh, true action combat MMO similar to Terra in terms of combat, but absolutely nothing like it. But that's, I guess, one of the closest things to compare it to. Um, and it's mainly focused around PvP. And Tree of Savior is more of a... Uh, it's more of like a Ragnarok style grinding Korean crazy grind fest MMO with, you know, job classes and job tiers and whatnot. So, other than that, um, I've been getting a little bit bored with Skyforge lately. I'm not like done with the game by, you know, by any means. I'm just getting just a little bit bored with it. And the only thing I mean is I just don't want to play it, you know, every single day now. I want to play, you know, like three days a week and whatnot. So instead, uh, a lot of people have been bringing up some new games to me. And at first, I really didn't want to play them, but, you know, maybe I'll give them a try because Tree of Savior and Blade and Soul alike probably aren't coming out for a couple months. So, I mean, and that's, you know, that's, like, at the minimum. I know it looks funny, right? Fat person and fat cat. We're a good couple. But, uh, so I'm going to throw out two games right now, two MMOs, which I believe are both going free-to-play, if not are already going free-to-play, or are, which are Wildstar and Guild Wars 2. I'm leaning towards Guild Wars 2. Now, I don't even know if I'm going to play these. It's just because I am pretty bored right now, you know, of playing Skyforge every single day. And I'd like to, you know, stream another MMO. Granted, it'd be great if they had a bigger viewer base. You know, that's not the case. But, uh, you know, that's kind of just like how life is. So, I'm going to go ahead and make a... Uh, should I forgot what they're called. I'll make a... Whatever it's called. There's going to be a, a straw poll. There we go. I'll make a straw poll. And I'll link it down below, and you guys can, you know, click on the straw poll on the side which game of those two you would like to see. Um, anyway, so I guess on a side note now, going kind of into my life, I've been kind of stressed this past, you know, two, three weeks or so. You guys might be able to imagine um, if you guys have been following the stream and whatnot. It's okay. It's okay. There's no angry, scary person. Go back to bed. But uh, we've currently got four people in our two-bedroom apartment. Uh, one of them is our new roommate because we're about to move out. Another one is a, is a guest. It's just a little packed right now, but everything's, you know, we're all cool. That's not really the problem. The problem was, uh, for those guys who know it or don't know, with our apartment, it was always hard for us to pay rent because we don't currently have a vehicle. Um, so we go shopping about every two weeks. You know, we go to Walmart, go to Costco, get our bulk food, come back, and then we go out, you know, whenever we need to go out. I mean, okay, you can't show your butt. Okay, this is rude. You got to keep this covered, all right? But anyway, um, so normally we'd pay online, right? And you pay online, everything's good. You know, I transfer through my bank account, and then I, you know, take PayPal, and then I transfer PayPal to my bank account so I can pay. No problem. For some reason, the online shit doesn't work. And then we go to Walmart, and there's like a there's like a money center at Walmart. So when we go do our shopping, you know, every two weeks, we just pay at Walmart. Well, that didn't work this week either, and uh, that's because the company, or sorry, the area that we're in just got bought up by a new company. So. I've been like super stressed because I had to write like a money order and I've never done a money order before. And then that got like super fucked up. And then I was like, oh yeah, I can write a check, but I've never wrote a check before. So I finally, you know, I got that done. That was just something awkward because you don't want to, you know, get charged a late fee and then, uh, like, fuck. Like, that's another $250. So, but anyway, they were, they were really nice with the new people here. So that was really cool. Now my phone is vibrating. Look at that. Is it, is it ringing? No. Okay, anyway, so... So there was that. Then there's the stress of moving into a new house. Uh, only because we've got, you know, a bunch of people moving into a new house. And most people want a family. You know, they don't want roommates. They're looking for, like, you know, mom, dad, and, like, two kids would be the ideal setup. Why are you freaking out? Calm down, buddy. What's wrong? What's wrong, buddy? 
But uh, yeah, so we haven't actually filed any application fees because we talk with the realtors. The realtors talk with um, the realtors talk with the the homeowners, and it's not exactly the uh, what's the word I'm looking for most common job to be a Twitch streamer. You know, it's it sounds very sketchy to a lot of people how I receive an income and trying to explain to them what a donation is because you know when you look at the money you're like oh well how come this month you made x and x amount of money and this month you made x and x amount of money and it's not like i can just be like well i got drunk a lot more that month and that's why i made more you know you can't just say that or if they're like how come you made x amount of money this day and not this day they're like well you know i kind of took my shirt off and no but anyway you know uh, on a side note it's it's a very different thing to explain and no matter how you word it it doesn't matter you can word it however you want when they look up Twitch Interactive, they're gonna see games. It doesn't matter how it works because you you get paid by etc etc. And then with YouTube, it's even worse because they're like, you get paid from YouTube. What is that? And then they're like, oh, but I thought you know I, all I know is PewDiePie and this and you know nobody really sees past the gaming to actually look at the guides and all the other effort that goes into it. But you know that's life. So hopefully we can get that settled because once we get that settled. I can't wait to move in with some, you know, my, with Zeno and I right now, with our extra roommates. That'll be really cool. You know, we're looking for a four to five bedroom house, a four to five bedroom house uh, with an upstairs living room and a downstairs living room. That way we can have one being the living area, and the usually, most likely the top one being the console area. And I'm most likely going to use my backup computer, and I'm going to set it up as a streaming computer with a capture card, and then we can just have two cameras there. You know, a bunch of bros just chilling out, streaming games, you know, maybe once or twice a week. Um, it'll be cool in two ways. One, it'll help build up, you know, the other the other viewer base of the roommates around us if they want to pursue streaming. And two, it's like a break from streaming. Because when you stream with some buddies like that, just have fun, you know, you're not, you're not doing it for money or anything. You're just doing it for pure fun and enjoyment. You know, it's just, it doesn't matter. Like, if someone's going to shit talk you, they're going to shit talk, like, you know, a bunch of people. You know, what if we just invite, like, ten people over? You know, you're going to shit talk all 15 of us? Good luck! But, it, you know, it's just fun, you know, because Twitch does get stressful, I'm not going to lie to you guys, it's, I'm not going to say it's the easiest job, I'm not going to say it's the hardest job, because, you know what, I'll be the first to say it, it's one of the easiest in some aspects, but at the same time, it's a very mentally demanding job, you know, it doesn't take physical labor, but it takes mental labor, and, uh, you know, sometimes it can just, it can just be very stressful, that's all. So, I've had a lot of that going on, so, you know, the streaming time has been fluctuating, now, if you've made it this far in, um, if you made it this far, I'm assuming you, you are an avid watcher of my YouTube content, and I do want to say that I am going to try to set up a schedule again. Now, I've, I know I've said this like fucking 20 times, but the reason why I'm saying it now is because I've been living on my, on my Twitch income and YouTube income for, you know, about 11 months now. Ever since I moved out, September 27th of last year, I've been living solely off of this income. And back then, my philosophy was, you know, this is not my job, this is my hobby. Well, that hasn't really changed now, but the sense is, I need to treat it more as a job. Because, yeah, it's my hobby, you know, I don't, I don't, what's the word I'm looking for? I, I enjoy the hell out of this, that's why I'm still doing it, you know? But I need to take it more seriously, because if I want to advance myself, I, I have to have a schedule, you know? I have to be able to appeal to people of one specific time, or make, you know, make time out of my day, you know, designate time out of my day so people can make time out of their day to watch content. And especially with me jumping from game to game to game like I am now, it's a lot easier for people to tune in and be like, oh, Pox is streaming this game, you know, I don't want to tune in, I'll wait till tomorrow and see what he's doing. Rather than people just coming in, because, you know, I don't have a schedule, like, oh, what are you doing today, what are you doing tomorrow, etc, etc. So I think it is a positive thing. Now, my one issue with it is, obviously with the different time zones it's really going to conflict, and it's really hard to stream on complete opposite time zones. So, as of right now, it's probably going to be something really early. You know, I probably want to start streaming at like 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, uh, Central Time. Which I think is 9 o'clock Eastern, I think. Something like that. And it'll probably be about a 4-6 to six hour block. And then I want to do a night stream, but it's really hard to do that. So I'm thinking maybe like, I don't know four or five days a week I'll do a morning stream and then maybe one day a week I'll do a night stream I haven't really decided because this is hard guys you know it's it's not easy it's like going from a graveyard shift to a morning shift every single week you know it's 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 not something your body is used to doing um, also just staying on a schedule is hard enough as it is 
And the way it's probably going to work, because I think it's the easiest, is you have a starting time, but you don't have an ending time, you know? So you just start at so-and-so time, and then you just don't end. You just end whenever you want. Because it, at putting an ending time is really silly, because it's like, what if you want to play more? You know, you just play more. So there was that to think about. And of course, you know, if you guys have any questions, you know, feel free to drop them down below. Uh, no, I'm not interested in playing on the new Arcade server. Um, Arcade sucks. Uh... Fuck, that's pretty much about it. Um, other than that, Mini K is uh, a little special. This is my cat, if you guys don't know, Mini K. Oh, uh, one other thing I want to ask you guys if, again, you've made it this far. So, there's a. You can basically design a t shirt with Twitch, and uh, I thought it would be really cool to have a t shirt designed around me. Um, well, that sounded really self centered. I mean, as a Twitch streamer who's partnered, I can basically release a shirt. And uh, I was thinking of putting, if you guys on Twitch know of, like, my Pox Wow. It's like my face, basically. I was thinking of just, you know, putting that on the, with the shirt. But if anyone wants to help me out with some of, of how that stuff works, because, you know, I, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I, I got help. Well, not not kind of, yeah. But, I mean, I, I'm i new at this. You know, just because I've been YouTubing for a bit and I've been streaming for a bit, I'm 21 years old. Shit, I'm 22, actually, almost 23. But, uh, you know, I'm not a professional. I, I didn't necessarily go into a business degree or any of this stuff. I... Just jumped out of my parents' house and started it here. So, you know, just as I produce content and help you guys, there's a lot of stuff that I don't know. I'm just a normal person in the end. So if you guys want to talk to me about that, feel free to hit me up. That would be super cool. Um, but other than that, you know, thanks so much again for watching the content. Mini K, stop sniffing my balls. That's weird, man. That's weird. But, uh, again, that's pretty much about it. Mini K, you want to you wanna say goodbye to everybody? Hi, guys. My name is Mini K. No, Mini K, don't show your penis. You can't do... No. Mini K, don't do that. Mini K, what are you doing? This is Mini K, and we are signing out, boys. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Have a wonderful time.